What's up, my final love? This is Miss Fina D coming to you all from Vienna Entertainment News. Instagram, you know, announced a few days ago that they will be taking away, you know, the likes. Okay, they are still touring with the idea, but you know, that's the big deal. And most people' mindset went to, you know, cyberbullying and self-esteem, and you know, people put so much into the amount of likes and followers and things like that on social media, all of those things. You know, Cardi B even spoke about it from that standpoint. I'm gonna post her video next. However, Nicki Minaj took a different approach to explaining, you know, the situation. She chose the business approach. So let's go ahead and listen into what Nicki had to say about that. Hey, y'all. Uh, okay, so I have a few announcements to make about Instagram. Hey, booze. And this is important. This is very important. Let me go on Twitter and tell them that I'm on live. Hold on. Hey, everyone. Okay, I have a big, huge announcement that I have to say because I cannot get on Queen Radio until a few more days. And so, well, I have to say something about Instagram. So, basically, no. Instagram is about to take away everyone's likes. Simply because this, simply because they don't want you to go off on the side, forming all sorts of businesses and being able to say, you know, I get this amount of likes and charging brands. They want you to have to pay them. See, if you pay them then that's why we have all these sponsored Instagram posts. And that's why we changed up not having Instagram posts in chronological order. Remember they did that first? So they had to shuffle it real quick to let you know you ain't the boss. And now that is why. So you guys that build your businesses by saying, hey, this is the amount of likes I get. Now, those companies will have to go instead of going to you and they will have to go and pay Instagram so they can have an, a, a post that says sponsored. They can have advertisement and they're paying for that now instead of to you to Instagram. And so we have to start looking at as a community, thank you, Kels, because this is some real ass shit. We have to start looking as, at what we do as a community and think about ultimately whose pocket is this money finna go into? Now, and is Instagram wrong for that? They're thinking to themselves, oh, well, I'm giving you bitches. All of this access on my shit and y'all ain't got to pay a dime and y'all could just make yourselves famous and the record labels don't have all the power anymore and this one don't got all the power and that one don't got all the power. And so you, when you take away a person who is just ambitious and who wants to create their own businesses, to me that would be like going in the, in the neighborhood and, and, and selling all the mom and pop shops that they can't set up shop. I mean, rrr. so should mom and pops, shops, you know what I mean? It's no different. It's like the government taxing, like, okay, boom, y'all, you getting all this money we want. We want half of it. You ain't going to be getting rich on my watch. You influencers ain't going to be making money on my watch and not giving me a percentage. That's what... All of these things are record companies, streaming services, all of them. They're all in cahoots together and they get the biggest chunk of our money. But y'all ain't ready for that conversation because y'all too busy still thinking rappers are rich and that people y'all don't know aren't rich. <laughs> Drop a bomb on that one. Um, Shekinah says, but IG already makes a lot of money anyway. 
But that's the thing. What do everybody that have a lot of money, what do they do all day? Try to get more. Only in our culture do we get a dime and be happy with it and go to the corner store and get five cents worth of candy and a dollar and, 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 and a penny uh, dollar candy and be and be good with four pennies in our pockets and then go and, 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 and borrow some jewelry and act like we own it. These people are will not stop figuring out ways how to get richer. They don't be satisfied with being rich, and that's the problem. We be satisfied with being rich. They don't. So that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying it's like taking away the little, the little, you know, whatever it is from the mom and pop shops on a block. But let's see. If it's for self-esteem, who's self-esteem? Do not say something is for self-esteem when it's for pocketing more money. Do not use those terms. So my thing, is, uh, don't be telling me, okay, relax, but the boy, what's, that, what's your name? Oh, Daily Siaz, you're a 28. Don't be telling me to relax. I just took a break and I wanted to holler at my fans. Anybody tell you to come on my live? So y'all, that's my two cents for the day. And um, yes, there are bigger things. Well, I have to get get back onto Queen Radio. You guys already know that. So in a few days, I see y'all. And thank you for supporting Tusa. And shout out to Carol G and everybody in Colombia. Um, ¿Qué pasa contigo? So you guys, just remember, ask questions. I just want some answers to my questions. Don't you? That's all my fans do all day is ask me a bunch of questions. Mi amor, te amo. Hi, Carol G. Hi, Carol G. My honey, my baby, my cute little ladybug. Um, and you guys, yes, Carol G in person, she was just as sweet. And when I'm on the next Queen Radio, I'll be able to speak to her and you guys will get to know a little bit more about her. But very genuine, very sweet, very down to earth, very real, very authentic. Very beautiful personality, and I just broke my nail. Um, and that's another thing, nail techs. Please stop doing thin nails. It's 2020. Bitches is out here doing a lot. Okay? Um, but anyway, so you guys love you so much, all right? Bye. You know, Nicki Minaj is a boss, so I completely understand her breaking it down that way. You know, we live in sensitive times, so Instagram knows exactly what they are doing. If the way how Nicki broke it down is exactly what they are doing, of course, using the self-esteem, you know, excuse is going to pull on people's heartstrings, especially with cyberbullying. You have kids, you know, ending their lives and just so much going on. And most of the times it's based off of social media and likes and you have no clue the type of emphasis these little kids put on, you know, likes and followers and all of these things is crazy so when you look at it from that standpoint it's like yes instagram you do that you know but when you look at it from the business standpoint it's like okay now wait a minute but of course i always tell people look this is an app all right I understand that it belongs to someone else so whatever you're doing on the app you know, make sure you create your own website. Make sure you create your own little platform situation that you have going. You know, YouTube, all of these things belong to other people. So make sure that the traffic that's coming to your channel, you're also finding ways to redirect the traffic to your own website. And whether it's an online boutique, I have my own boutique. You know, whatever you can do on the side to make sure you're building your own brand and now 100% relying on this app so that when things like this happen it's not like oh my gosh my life is over because this is you know my business and my only you know income so whatever the case might be i'm sure you know people will figure it out and so y'all i need you guys to make suggestions on who i should call up 
on my next Queen Radio, in addition to the guests that we're going to be having in the building, I want to call up some people and um, to get more in depth with some other conversations that I think could be fun. Send me some other suggestions of people that you guys, you know, want to hear from. There's a lot of things to get into. And we need to do it right. My friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless you.